Hi guys, welcome to Club Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Cognizant interview. The candidate had 1.6 years of working experience. He was working as a Java developer along with the skill sets like Spring Boot and REST API. He was having some knowledge about database as well. Okay, and when he solved the problem, uh, he got selected and he was offered a CTC of 6.5 PA. Okay, so he was asked to write a program to find the sum of digits in the given number. Okay, so let us consider this is going to be the input number, which and in this number he had to find the sum of all the digits in the given number. So here in this input, you can see one, two, three, four, and five are the five digits, and he was asked to calculate the sum of all these digits. So here you can see one plus two plus three plus four plus five is going to be 15. So he was expected to bring the output as a 15. Okay, so he was asked to take input number from the user and then calculate the sum of all the digits in the given number. To achieve this, let me show you how to do this by writing the code. So here you can see I have written a class find sum of digits in the given number. And inside that I have written main method which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now what I will do, I will declare a variable which will be used to store the input number. Okay, input number. Then I will declare another variable which will be used to store the sum of all the digits in, in the number. Okay, and then what I will do, I will uh, write a scanner that will help me to take the number as an input from the user. So I'm going to use scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner. Okay, and this accepts one parameter from where we need to take the input. So this is going to be system dot. And now I got the scanner object. What I will do, I will display a message so that user will be able to enter the number. So I will ask user to enter a number. And for that, I will write a message, enter the number. Okay, now this number needs to be stored somewhere. So what I will do, I will use this number variable to store the input number. So number is equal to scanner dot next int is a method which allows user to enter an integer value and that integer number gets stored into this variable number. Okay, now I'm done with this uh, uh, taking input from the user. Next thing what I need to do, I need to find the number of digits and calculate the sum of all the digits in the given number. Okay, for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare a variable to get the last number from that digit. So what I will do is use integer or reminder. And each time I'm going to find, I'm going to write a while loop. And inside that while loop, I'm going to check whether the number is greater than zero. If that number is greater than zero, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get reminder as the last digit from that number. Then I will add that number into sum so that I will get this sum and in next statement what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide that number by 10. So what will happen, I, I will get the quotient by excluding the last digit. And again, this will continue till the number is greater than zero. So let me show you how to do this by using while loop. Let us consider, uh, I have written this number as a one, two, three, four, and five. And now let me write the while loop while number is greater than zero, okay? So I'm going to check whether the get number is greater than zero or not. If that number is greater than zero, then I'm going to execute this while loop. So in this while loop, first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the remainder as a last digit or last digit of that number by using modulus operator. So if you divide any number by 10 by using a modulus operator, you will get the last digit from your number. Okay, so here a reminder is going to be the last digit of my number. Then I need to add that reminder into sum. So it is going to be sum is equal to sum plus reminder. Okay, now I got this sum as a sum plus reminder. And the next, what I need to do, I need to get the first four digits as a quotient. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply divide that number by 10. So number is equal to number divide by 10. 
okay and now let me show you how this while loop is going to help you to get the sum of all the digits in the given number let me uh, run this uh, debug this code and show you how it goes okay so here you can see uh let us consider one two three four five is going to be my input number and now it will come here it will check whether the number is greater than zero yes the number is going to be greater than zero so it will come inside this while loop and it will start execution of this while loop so here what will happen it will evaluate this expression number mod 10 and the result will be stored into the reminder variable so if you divide any number by 10 by using modulus operator you will get the last digit so here you will get 5 in the next expression you can see sum is equal to sum plus reminder so here we have initialized sum as a 0 and if you have got reminder as a 5 so 0 plus 5 it becomes 5 and that will be stored into this variable and in the next statement you can see number is equal to number divided by 10 so if you divide any number by 10 you will get quotient and that quotient is going to be this one 1 2 3 4 5 because it is going to exclude the last digit so here it will be 1 2 3 4 and then it will come again here and will check whether the number is greater than 0 yes the number is going to be greater than 0 because it is 1 2 3 4 and then it will come inside this loop and it will execute the same statements so here again it will check number mod 10 and you will get 4 because this is 1 2 3 4 okay so here it becomes 4 and then next statement is sum is equal to sum plus reminder so here sum is 5 we are already holding sum as a 5 and the remainder is 4 so 5 plus 4 it becomes 9 and number is equal to number divided by 10 it becomes 1 2 3 okay and again it will check whether number is greater than 0 yes the number is greater than 0 so it will come inside this loop and again it will start evaluating this expression so here what will happen remainder is equal to number mod 10 so it becomes 3 because 1 2 3 mod by 10 will give you 3 as a remainder or last digit then it will execute this expression sum is equal to sum plus remainder which is going to be now sum is already holding 9 as a value and remainder is 3 so 9 plus 3 it becomes 12 and in the next statement you can see number is equal to number divided by 10 so it becomes 1 2 3 divided by 10 will give you 12 okay again it will come here and it will check whether the number is greater than 0 yes the 12 is going to be greater than 0 so it will come inside this while loop and it will start execution of this statement in the first statement you can see reminder is equal to number mod 10 so it is going to be number mod 10 is going to give you 2 as a reminder because 1 2 is going to give as 2 as a reminder if you divide it by 10 then sum is equal to sum plus reminder so it becomes sum is already holding 12 and a reminder is 2 so 12 plus 2 it becomes 14 and then in the next iteration next statement you can see number is equal to number divided by 10 so that is going to give you 1 okay again it will come here it will check whether the number is greater than 0 yes the number is greater than 0 because 1 is going to be greater than 0 and it will start execution of these statements okay so here in the first statement remainder is equal to number mod 10 so you will get 1 as a reminder then sum is equal to sum plus remainder so sum is already holding 14 plus reminder you got as a 1 so 14 plus 1 is going to be 15 and then number is equal to number divided by 10 will give you 0 okay again it will come here it will check whether number is greater than 0 and this time the condition is failing the expression evaluates to false and it will not execute this loop it will simply come out of this loop. now i got the sum of all the digits in some variable so what i will do i will simply write a csr and print this sum of all the digits in the given number is and it is going to be a sum the value which is there in sum variable okay now let me run this program and show you how it moves so here uh, it is asking user to enter the number so let us consider i mean going to enter one two three four five and it is showing me the output as sum of all the digits in the given number.
okay that is what we are expecting so the expectation was to ask user to enter a number we achieved that by using scanner and then by using a while loop with some expressions we got the sum of all the digits in the given number okay guys so that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe that will motivate us to create more videos like this okay thank you bye bye see you in the next